Hey guys, how's it going? The Silver Lockpicker here. In the video I have for you today, I'm going to be going over how does a locksmith make a key? Specifically, how do they make one if they do not have a key to copy? So what I'm going to show you is how a code cutter works. So keys have a distinct bidding code, which you're going to need to cut to to make the key. On this one, it actually has the code written on it, 141572. So what this machine does is you can cut directly to that bidding code. You're going to be able to cut that directly to a blank and you're going to be able to make a precise copy of that key without actually necessarily having it. So what I have in front of you here is a code cutter machine, also known as a key originator. And what I have is the HPC Blitz 1200. This is an older machine, but really changed the industry. This one uses code cards where it's going to do out the spaces and the depths. You're going to need a card for each type of lock you're working with. And then you're going to need to have the appropriate blade. This is an example of a blade you would commonly use on a padlock. And I have the correct blade I'm going to use today right here. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to copy this Schleg key. It's an SC4 key. and We're going to cut it by code. So we have the code to this key written right on here. So we're going to use this as a reference as we cut it. I'm going to show you how we can cut to code right now. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take our blank and then we're going to need to put it into the jaw. And then we're going to take up the shoulder stop and this is going to make sure that the key is going to be the right length. Then we're going to secure the jaw and we're going to make sure it's not going to have the key blank go anywhere. Now, this is a thing you're going to do a few times, but make sure you put the shoulder stop down. You can't always rely on the kill switch. Now, before you cut any key, make sure you put on some safety glasses because you don't want to get little pieces of metal in your eye. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the machine on and we're going to cut this key right now. So, as we can see, the first cut is going to be a one. So, you always want to keep one hand on the spacer knob. We're going to twist that over to one for the space one and depth one. So then we're going to turn. We're going to see right here, we're going to go over to one. So now we're going to cut the first one to one. And then we're going to back off. Then we're going to look at our next number, which is going to be a four. So we're going to put our space down to four. We're going to make sure our depth remains below zero. Then we're going to twist over to four. You just want to go nice and slow. You don't want to go too fast because you can jam up the machine. Okay, so now we have a nice four cut. We're going to take a look at the next one, which is going to be a one. So we're going to go to space three. Then we're going to go over to a one cut. Now the next one is going to be a 5, so we're going to go to 4, and we're going to go over to 5. The next one's going to be a 7, so space 5, we're going to go over to 7. And we're going to go nice and slow. We don't need to try to cut too fast. And then our final cut is going to be a two. So we're going to go over to space six. And then we're going to go over to two. And just like that, we have cut our key. So the next thing we're going to need to do just take it out of the jaw, and we're going to get all of this metal residue off the edge of the key. So we're going to put it on our softy brush here, and we're just going to run it through. Just to clean it up a little bit. Now that we have our key cut, we can put it down for just a second. And we can take a comparison to the key that we had originally to the key that we have now. Should be exactly the same. And 
Now let's take out our lock and see how well it works. So we're going to insert the key we just cut. We can see that it works absolutely smoothly. So this is how a code cutter works. This is a very precise tool and it's really powerful because as long as you have the code to your lock you can cut any key that you have a card for, the right blade, and all of the right parts of the right blank. This is something that is so cool to have. It's really made my passion for lock sport much more um, passionate. I've really enjoyed being able to make my own keys. It is so fun to be able to do. These machines do come at a little bit of a cost, but I just hope that this video is helpful to anyone out there that's wondering what a code machine is, how locksmiths are able to cut keys by code, and hopefully this will clear up any questions for you. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you today. This has just been a really quick video showing my HPC Blitz and this is such a cool machine to have. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop those right in the comment section below. I'd really love to check them out. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.